Opioid and heroin abuse is on the rise in the nation's capital. It's approaching epidemic status, destroying families, claiming lots of lives. Get this. In the last two weeks alone, D.C. Fire and EMS have responded to 16, count them, 16 dispatch calls involving fatal heroin overdoses. Those numbers verified for us by Andrew Beaton. He's management and program analyst at the D.C. Fire and EMS Department. Our sources on the streets are reporting at least 11 deaths this weekend alone in Northeast and Southeast D.C. Now, we can't verify those numbers because the testing results for opioid-related deaths take about 60 days to be completed. Rachelle Ellis is a former heroin and crack addict. She will be three years clean this May. First off, congratulations to Thank you for you. that. Thank I, I, I need to ask you, your response to these numbers that we just threw out there, you know, the number of, of, of fatal opioid, you know, slash heroin deaths in the, in the past several days, what do you make of that? It's absolutely, um, it's devastating and it's accurate. Um, the opioid epidemic is by far overwhelming. And, and, and these are the kind of numbers you saw when you were out there, when, when, when you were using? Oh, yeah, it was much worse back then, but it's, it's like getting devastating because it's, it's got a younger crowd using the heroin these days. Yeah, I, I talked to one of my uh, street uh, sources, uh, Mark Johnson, who, who's on his way here, and, and, and some of the names he, he was throwing out. I mean, these are our family members. These are our neighbors. These are our friends. The, these are not the people, you know, that a lot of people would like to stereotype and, 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 and say, well, it's them, it's not us. It's everybody, it seems. It's someone's mother, sister, and daughter, father, brother, and son. It's all, it's, hum it's humans. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, Help me understand the number of deaths, though. Is that like bad drugs? Is, is that too much use? What causes people to die? It's what they're cutting it with. It's the cut, it's the um, overuse, um, it's the extended use. I remember when I uh, was covering the streets a lot, you know, if, if, if it was strong stuff and if people were o over ODing, it actually made the stuff more popular. People would run to it because that was the quote, good stuff. Is that true? Yes, absolutely. You would run yes, to it. it? Yes. Okay. Let me back up. Tell me your story. Um, I've been using hardcore drugs since I was 17 years old and um, heroin was by far the worst drug I've ever experienced in my life. Okay. Heroin, op opioid. Why is that? Why, why is it the worst drug? Because it's physically addictive. It's not just psycholo psychologically addictive. You have to have that drug in order to function, period. Right. Um, to wake up, to move, to cook, to are take care of your kids. Are you able to work? Or no. You're not unless you're high. Okay, so, so if, if you're not able to work, how, how do you get the money to pay for, for the heroin? By any means necessary. Um, I had a drug dealer husband at the time, um, tricking. By any means necessary, stealing, robbing. Okay, so everybody's paying for the addiction for for, for absolutely. Your okay, do you ever get hurt out there? Absolutely. Um, I've been gang raped. My jaw was broke. I've been pistol whipped. I mean, it's and, it's a real it's a reality. It's a realistic thing that happens to people in the drug world. And, and yet you still chase the drugs. I mean, it wasn't enough to to, to get you off the streets. Absolutely not. Right. You were also incarcerated. You were telling me. Um. Yes, I was a, a reoccurring offender. Mm -hmm. What got you clean and sober? Um, a domestic violent relationship was my very, very last, it was my bottom. I cried out to God and I was just tired and it was just my time. Mm -hmm. I went into a 12 step program and made it third, made a sixth. I'll have three years clean and sober. And, and you are now telling your story and you're now helping other people to get clean and sober? Absolutely. I tell my story every time I'm asked. I just feel like that's an assignment from God. Right. Okay. I need you to tell my viewers your you know, I need you to talk to them right now and say you've got people right now who are where you used to be. What, what do you say to those people? I mean, people who want that to there is hope that all you have to do is tell someone that you're ready, that you need help. Um, if you call someone, they will walk you through it, take you to detox, go through a 30 day program, 90 day program. And from there, get into a 12 step program. Who so, do they call? What number do they call? Um, there's hotline numbers. Um, I don't have the number. Offhand. Okay, so do some research. There's, there's a hotline number. There's a hotline number. Is there enough call. treatment? Is there enough drug treatment facilities available? You know, should people want to get help? If so, if they want help, then we have resources. There's resources to send them out of town if necessary. There is the money for that to send them out of town. Yes. Okay. Um, what about relapse? Is that a big problem with heroin users? Well, I relapsed myself quite a few times before I actually somewhere that it got clean. It's mm -hmm. all about surrendering. Right. It's all about surrendering your will. Thank you very much for telling me your story. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, good luck to you. Thank you. Coming up.